Hello boys and girls, it's Aaron here, and today we're back with some Star Ocean, Integrity and Faithlessness. I forgot the name of the game we were playing then. And first things first guys, you may actually realise that we don't have face cam in this video. That's mainly because in the last video I was not actually satisfied with the quality of the video I was providing with you. So until I can get better equipment, I'm going to be skipping out on face cam. So hopefully it doesn't offend a lot of you, upset a lot of you guys, sorry, not offend. But yeah, and that's what's going to be happening for the future, to get better quality. Um, equipment, so yeah. Alright, once you either attack or are attacked by enemies while exploring, you will have encountered them and enter battle. To attack and, in and initiate a battle, make sure an enemy has the target cursor over his head and press X or circle, um, but pressing square will not cause your character to attack but will urge your allies to act. If you strike before any enemy notices, it will be considered as a preemptive attack and your partner's physical and magic attack will increase for a short period of time during the battle. If enemies attack you to initiate an encounter, it will be considered as a surprise attack and everyone in your party will have their physical defense reduced by a short period of time during the battle. Oh god. But will end once you have eliminated all enemies and that and at that time you have received an amount of following rewards based on your performance. AXP is experience points, FOL is money, and SP is skill points. Pretty basic. Alright, it's gonna let that be I think. By moving your character outside the blue line representing the, prim the perimeter of battle, the escape gorge will, begin will, di will display and begin to fill. During the this time your allies will continue to fight. Once the escape gorge completely fills, you your player can safely flee from the battle. Um, they would not, however, receive any XP or fall for their efforts. Moreover, any enemies you kill during the battle will respawn, so make sure you to be on your guard after escape after you escape your even be on the game even after you escape. There we go. Occasionally the battle perimeter will be in red instead of blue. In this event you will not be able to flee. Okay. Alright, so that being said, let's go and fight these crab looking things. I don't think I actually did it correctly then. Alright, first things first though, where are we going? How do we- there we go. Alright, so, so look, looking at the map quite closely, it's just pretty much a fake straightforward map. Just gotta continue run, um, running straight and eventually we get to our destination. What the hell are they today? That's it, they're in the last game, aren't they? Weren't they the first enemies we fight also, other than them giant ant things? Because uh, she's clearly a magician then. Uh, you guys probably figured it out from the last episode. I don't pay attention. <laughs> oh, we've got these. Oh, we've got a chest here. Let's go and see what's inside it. But first, let's go and kill these douchebags. Oh, we got to level up. Sweet. Oh, what do we get? We got 127 fall, and that was literally it. We just got money from that chest. We got some weird fish things next. What the hell are they? They're some marine, marine, marine rapers. Reapers, not rapers. <laughs> I don't know if I'm actually fighting this game, um, doing this fight, these fights correctly, guys. If you guys know any better way to actually improve my gameplay what, compared to what it is now, do let me know. But it feels like just spamming the um, abilities is not going to get me very far. It's obviously not going to be very interesting to watch. We've got some raw fish. We probably stink right about now. No, raw, not rotten. Never mind. Mint. We've got mint. At least it's going to make the fish more better. Alright, so the fight's pretty basic at the minute, but it's only self-explanatory, it's only the very first mission that we're on. Alright, the map tells us to go this way, I'm going to explore up here, so we don't miss out on anything. Got another chest of chests. We get fish scales, 
and we get some of these weird blue things. The guy just vomited on me, that's very nice of him. If I remember correctly from the last game, don't these guys multiply if you don't actually kill them fast enough? That was a thing in the last game, I don't know if it's still a thing in this game, I don't see why it wouldn't be. We got an arcane bracelet. Oh my god, we got some tur turtles? No. We got some got some Bowser looking things over there though. It is a land turtle. It's a tortoise that's in the water, ain't it? Thought I just died then. Uh death needs some points here, so let's try and get some MP back. There we go, decided to do some damage against these guys now. Die you bastards. There we go, get the victory again. Ten consecutive finishing blows. Uh, we're nearly at the coast of Minas. I don't have to say that correctly guys, I do apologize. Get a save point here, make, have a quick save just in case. Big. It's gonna be probably hard for us to kill, but it's not that big. Okay, yeah, it is, it is really strong. <laughs> probably shouldn't have attacked it like this. I healed the wrong person. Don't die on me, please. There we go. Heal, 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 heal. heal. Ah, oh, come on. Who are you? Allow me to help. Appreciate. Ah, oh, she died. Shit. Don't get distracted. Focus on the enemy. Oh, it is a Discord summit. The so can Gerl? Gerl? I don't know. Some hate MP would be do would do wonders here. <laughs> but if this guy's suddenly showing up, that's clearly indicates that we're starting to get into the storyline again, so they have random fights, which is good. Come on, you're not strong enough to beat us. If this guy didn't show up, we would clearly wouldn't have any chance, so we own my lives. We all got a level up. We can't thank you enough for that. Long as you're safe. My name is Victor Oakville. I'm a soldier with Rosulian Army. This guy's voice this sounds so familiar. Officer. And nice to meet you. I'm Fidel Camus. I teach swordsmanship in the village of Thaw. Camus, I knew it. Those techniques had to be the same as Darrell's. They certainly are. Although, if I had to guess, I'd say your style has also been influenced by him. Did you study under him in the army? Of course I did. How interesting. I never knew my master had a child. It's dangerous around here. Let me escort you to the next town. As representatives of Stahl, we're on our way to ask the king for reinforcements. As for why we're doing that, it's because Adelon recently tried to invade our village. I hate to sound presumptuous, but do you think you could take us to the person in charge of dispatching troops? We share both experience on the battlefield and a relation to the same individual. I'll take you to the capital, but I can't assure you of the outcome. Thank you so very much. Do you think the crown will help us? The timing is far from perfect. But, if Mr. Camus were to put in a good word, 
What about Old Man Camus? Master Camus currently works in the capital as an advisor for Rasulia's military, where he teaches the way of the sword. Within the army, his word is law. The old man's really that important now? He is. That is but one reason it would behoove you not to call him an old man in public. Save that for us. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. I'll work on it. Alright guys, as you can see, clearly just saw the sun just set on us mid-conversation. That was actually really cool. I like that. Wow, you really didn't travel far, did you? Well, then again, it's not not be the capital. Oh, so that's me, Doc, I take it? That it is. Oh, this light, it's stunning. It's also the gateway to the neighboring country of Langdok. If we weren't on this mission, I'd love to have a more leisurely look around. My duties require that I spend the night in this. Oh crap, I didn't mean to cut him off. Shit. Sorry about that, guys. And I went up the camera really quickly because I just realized how low the camera actually was. <laughs> didn't want to be accused of anything there. Mid doc. I uh, just like to get a little premiere um, of the city. Oh, look, there's a little ninja woman over there. Well, looks like a ninja person anyway. Can we have a conversation? So sorry. No, it's my fault. Nothing, nothing happened. I came to say hello. I can't follow her. Alright, where we go? Oh, we have to actually go in here. The Yawning Kabold. Uh, I just froze for a second and I don't know if someone was talking or not, but I just simply could not move. Member out, Victor. He stayed with us very long, didn't he? Fiddly? Fiddly? Hey, you awake? Why, you brute? Would it kill you to awaken a little slower? I was scared to death. Uh, uh, oh, my bad. What in the name of... I make nice and wake you since the day's getting on, and yet... It's really that late? Yeah, it is. Victor's gone. He went out a while ago. I see. Uh-uh. None of that now. Jeez, get going, get going! <sighs> okay. Now I can start. Good. Then I'll be waiting outside. Don't take long. As always, you're so cute when you sleep. But you're certainly not when you talk like that. Mm hmm. Uh, looks like they have a little romance going on here. I think when we find the next save point, guys, we're going to be ending the episode. Are you good to go? Sorry for keeping you. Victor said he'll be waiting at the Western Gates. The Western Gates? Let's go there. Great. Alright. Doesn't okay, we do have a save point in here. Um right, guys, maybe into the episode here. It looks like in the next um episode we are going to be heading towards the capital. Well, it looks like we're finally gonna to get to the capital anyway. Because Victor, I forgot his last name, is gonna be taking us there. That being said, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you'd like to see more, please leave a like and share. Let's build a big community. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Take care, and thank you so much for watching.